Boys and girls, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I want to say thank you for taking the time to stop by. Uh, God bless you. All right, so the teachers just want to share information with you on your intestine. Of course, you see small intestines over here, but I'm talking about both small and large intestine. All right, so you know where you find the intestine, right? You feel your belly, just put your hand over your belly, and that's exactly where your intestines are. Your intestines are both small and large intestine. The large one is called the colon. If you hear the name colon, that's okay. It's the same as, it's the, same as the, um, the large intestines, right? Uh, the small intestines is uh, 20 feet long and the large intestine is 5 feet long. Uh, that's pretty long, right? 20 feet. Ooh, it's very long. There are three different parts of the small intestines. You have the duodenum, the jejunum, and the ileum. Ileum is where absorption takes place, where... After digestion to take place in your small intestines, where um, fat is converted to fatty acid and glycerol and carbohydrates fully break down to glucose and protein break down to amino acid. This is where it all absorbs into your blood and the blood is going to take it all over the body. Okay? Yes, all over the body. Alright, so... You have a small intestines and the large intestines. 90% of digestion take place in the small intestines. Only 10% take place in the stomach. All right? So after you eat, the food takes a long journey. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep moving all the way in the small intestines. And then the undigested food, which we call the waste, goes into the large intestine and come out here in the anus. Right? All right, good. So, reabsorption take place here where water um, and salt is reabsorbed inside of the large intestine. But most of the nutrients your body need is going to be absorbed here in the ileum. And of course, when you eat, the food goes into your stomach, all right, to start the breaking down process before it goes through the duodenum, the genome. Ilium and then into the large intestines. Okay.